Today, we're diving into the benefits of performing air squats as a tool for endurance training. In this video, Mike does a 20-minute straight set of 700 reps. Now, it's important to note that it took years of dedication and consistent training for Michael to build up to this level. In the beginning, he struggled through sets of 25 to 50 reps, gradually increasing over time. When he first started running, air squats weren't part of his routine. However, as he gradually increased his leg strength training, he noticed significant improvements, not only in his run times, but also in his endurance, stamina, and the visible musculature in his legs. This kind of training is fantastic for distance running because it strengthens the exact muscles you rely on during long runs, like your quadriceps, glutes, and hamstrings while also helping to improve your overall endurance and running efficiency. By incorporating this into your routine, you're not just building strength, you're also enhancing your ability to maintain good form and power through those tough miles. The workout details. Now let's dive into the details. During this workout, you'll maintain a range of motion between 90 degrees and parallel, and use a light stick on your back to simulate a barbell stance. This setup provides a comprehensive workout targeting multiple muscle groups. It intensely engages your quadriceps, glutes, and hamstrings, while also involving your core, lower back, and calves as part of a compound movement. In addition, it offers significant cardiovascular benefits, boosting endurance and calorie burn, making it highly effective for marathon training. When you incorporate this into a hike or walk, including steps and varying inclines, it further enhances your overall conditioning and endurance benefits. Key benefits. Benefit one, it reduces joint stress. By limiting the squat depth to between 90 degrees and parallel, you minimize stress on your knees and hips, reducing the risk of injury while still effectively engaging your lower body muscles. Benefit two, by simulating barbell training using a light stick on your back, you maintain proper posture and balance while engaging your upper body, similar to actual weighted squats. Benefit three, targeted muscle engagement is key. Your quadriceps and glutes are the primary muscles worked intensively during this exercise, providing the power needed for each squat. Meanwhile, your hamstrings, calves, lower back, and core muscles are also engaged as part of a compound movement, contributing to overall stability and balance. Benefit four, improved muscular endurance. These high repetitions build endurance in the key running muscles, helping you sustain effort over long distances without fatiguing prematurely. Benefit five, enhanced running economy. Strengthening the muscles within this specific range improves running efficiency, as these are the same muscles used during your stride cycle, especially when maintaining proper form while fatigued. Benefit six, core and postural stability. The use of a light stick on your back encourages core activation and helps maintain proper posture, which is essential both for squatting and for maintaining form during long runs. Benefit seven, cardiovascular benefits. This high repetition, time-bound set elevates your heart rate, improving cardiovascular endurance, which is critical for marathon runners. Benefit eight, calorie burn. Completing 700 air squats in 20 minutes burns a significant amount of calories, contributing to overall fat loss and improved body composition, which is beneficial for marathon performance. Benefit nine, injury prevention. By not going past parallel, the risk of overuse injuries is reduced which is particularly beneficial for marathon runners who already place significant stress on their joints. Benefit 10, increased lactate threshold. This controlled movement coupled with the simulated barbell stance helps improve your ability to manage and clear lactate, allowing you to sustain higher intensities during your runs. Benefit 11, mental resilience. Completing such a demanding set builds mental toughness, which is critical for pushing through the challenging phases of a marathon. Adaptation and breaking personal records. Now, let's talk about the adaptation that happens when pushing through a workout like a 700 rep air squat set. 
The body is remarkable in how it responds to the stress of intense training. When you push yourself beyond your previous personal record, PR, it creates a stimulus that forces your muscles, tendons, and even your cardiovascular system to adapt. This adaptation is what makes you stronger, faster, and more resilient over time. Breaking through a PR, whether in squats, sprints, or long distance running, might come with pain, soreness, and a recovery period that can last days. But this is a necessary part of growth. When you push your body beyond its previous limits, the microscopic damage to muscle fibers triggers repair and rebuilding, leading to increased strength and endurance. This process might be uncomfortable, but the reward is undeniable. You come back stronger, with a higher capacity to handle future challenges. Pushing through these physical barriers is also a huge mental victory. Going over a previous PR isn't just about physical achievement. It builds confidence and reinforces the mindset that you can surpass your own limits. The pain and soreness that come with it are part of the process, a sign that you've reached a new level of performance. Recovery after breaking a PR is crucial, giving your body the time it needs to repair and adapt so that the next time you tackle a challenging workout or race, you're even better prepared. In this way, each step beyond your previous best, no matter how painful, brings you closer to your ultimate potential. Michael knows this, which is why he embraces the discomfort of pushing past PRs, trusting that the days of recovery afterward are setting the stage for his next breakthrough. The start of it all, calisthenics. Michael's journey began with a challenge he saw on the YouTube channel, That's Good Money. The challenge involved 250 push-ups and squats, where he would do 25 push-ups and 25 squats on the minute, for 10 minutes straight. This challenge opened his eyes to the potential of bodyweight exercises, and freed him from the belief that all of this work had to be done in a gym with weights. This experience also led him to revisit a period in his life when he considered himself to be in the best shape, during military basic training. Nearly all of the training there consisted of calisthenics, running, and some stretching. The physical demands of basic training built a foundation of strength and endurance that would later influence his approach to fitness. Nowadays, however, Michael considers himself a hybrid trainer. Hybrid meaning he incorporates many types of training without sticking to any one discipline exclusively. Many runners are only runners. Many weightlifters focus solely on weights, and the same goes for calisthenics practitioners. But Michael blends them all air squats, barbell squats, hill sprints, and long distance running, creating a comprehensive program that allows him to train for strength, endurance, and fitness at the highest level. Breaking plateaus and getting to the next level. Let's dive into how to break through plateaus and reach the next level in your training. Plateaus are inevitable in any serious training program. But with the right strategy, you can push past them and continue to make gains in both strength and endurance. One way Michael breaks plateaus is by incorporating squats into his walks or hikes. This method allows for incremental progress, challenging both the legs and cardiovascular system in a balanced way. Here's how to get started. Start small. Begin by incorporating 10 squats every 0.25 miles during a walk. This might seem easy at first, but over time, the repetitions add up and your muscles will start to adapt to the additional load. You'll be working on both endurance and muscular strength simultaneously. Progress. Gradually. Once you feel comfortable with 10 squats per interval, begin to increase the number of squats. Move up to sets of 25 squats every 0.25 miles. As your strength improves, aim for sets of 50 squats at each interval, or even higher, depending on your fitness level. This progression helps push your body beyond its comfort zone, forcing it to adapt to a higher workload. Increase distance. Along with increasing the squat reps, you can begin to lengthen the distance of your walk. Start with a two mile walk, then gradually increase it to three, four, or even five miles, all while maintaining or increasing the squat count. This combination of increased volume and intensity is a powerful way to overcome plateaus and challenge your body to keep progressing. Add terrain variations. Once you've mastered flat terrain, begin incorporating more challenging environments. Take your walks to hilly areas where the incline not only adds difficulty, but also targets different muscle groups, especially your glutes, hamstrings, and calves. Introduce hill sprints. After a base of hill walking and squats has been established, start adding in hill sprints. 
Sprinting uphill is a fantastic way to build explosive power in your legs and improve your cardiovascular endurance. You can begin by sprinting short distances, 15 to 20 seconds, followed by a walking recovery, then gradually increase the sprint duration as you build strength and stamina. Combine squats and sprints. For an even greater challenge, try combining squats and hill sprints. For example, you could do 25 squats at the bottom of a hill, sprint to the top, walk back down, and repeat. This type of training engages multiple muscle groups, increases your heart rate, and forces your body to adapt to higher levels of intensity and strain. Monitor progress and adapt. Breaking through a plateau isn't just about increasing reps or distance. It's also important to monitor your progress and adapt when necessary. If you find yourself stuck again, consider mixing up your routine by changing the squat variations, like incorporating jump squats or holding weights during your walks. Changing the stimulus will force your body to adapt in new ways, helping you continue making gains. By consistently pushing the boundaries with these incremental progressions, whether it's increasing reps, distance, or intensity, Michael has been able to continuously improve his endurance, strength, and performance. This approach can help you break past your own plateaus and reach new heights in your fitness journey. Recovery techniques. Now, let's talk about recovery techniques, which are just as important as the workout itself. Rest days. Incorporate rest days into your routine to allow your muscles to recover and grow. Rest days are as important as workout days, helping to prevent overtraining and reduce the risk of injury. Active recovery. On your rest days, consider light activities like walking, swimming, or yoga. These activities help increase blood flow to your muscles, promoting recovery without adding additional strain. Stretching and mobility. Incorporate stretching and mobility exercises after your workouts to maintain flexibility and prevent stiffness. Focus on your quads, hamstrings, glutes, and calves to aid in recovery and improve your range of motion. Foam rolling. Use a foam roller to massage and relieve muscle tension in your legs. This helps reduce muscle soreness and increases blood circulation, which is essential for muscle recovery. Sleep. Ensure you're getting seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Sleep is when most muscle recovery happens, and it's crucial for both physical and mental performance. Ice baths and heat therapy. After particularly intense sessions, consider an ice bath to reduce inflammation, followed by heat therapy, like a warm bath or heating pad, to relax muscles and promote recovery. Listen to your body. Pay attention to how your body feels during and after workouts. If you're feeling unusually fatigued or experiencing persistent soreness, it might be a sign that you need more rest or to adjust your training intensity. By integrating these tips for beginners and focusing on proper nutrition and recovery, you'll build a strong foundation that will support long-term progress and help you achieve your endurance and strength goals. Thanks for listening. Keep pushing your limits with Michael Baker Strength Training. Don't go ATG for this one. When it comes to marathon training, squatting ass to ground or ATG isn't really necessary, and it might not be the best approach for most runners. Here's why. First, marathon running requires strong, efficient movement through a limited range of motion. When you're running, your legs don't typically move through a full squat depth. So training with squats between 90 degrees and parallel better mimics the mechanics you use while running. Second, Going ATG places more stress on your knees and hips, which can increase the risk of injury. Runners already place high impact stress on their joints. A more moderate squat depth, like parallel or slightly above, reduces this risk, while still giving you the strength and endurance benefits you need. Third, marathon training is more about muscular endurance and stability, rather than maximum strength. A controlled high rep squat to parallel targets the muscles that help you run efficiently, without needing to hit full squat depth. So while ATG squats are great for building full range strength and mobility, for marathon training, focusing on squats that go to 90 degrees or parallel is more practical. It lowers your risk of injury and aligns better with the specific needs of runners.
blending techniques. Now, let's talk about the mix of training techniques that has given Michael a solid foundation for both strength and endurance. Air squats, barbell squats, hill sprints, and running. First, air squats have helped Michael build muscular endurance and stamina, especially in his legs. These high rep body weight movements target the same muscles used during long distance runs, allowing him to stay strong throughout the miles. Second, barbell squats are crucial for building raw strength. By adding weight, Michael targets deeper muscle fibers, increasing both leg power and core stability. This strength becomes essential when fatigue kicks in during the later stages of a run, helping him maintain his form and power. Third, hill sprints are perfect for mimicking the intensity of real-world running conditions. They combine explosive power with endurance and push his cardiovascular system to the limit. The incline works Michael's glutes and hamstrings, which are key muscles for any runner. Finally, running itself ties everything together. Running regularly allows Michael to apply the strength and endurance he's developed from squats and sprints directly to his running performance. By mixing these elements together, Michael has created a well-rounded program. This combination of exercises has not only given him a solid foundation to keep improving his speed, endurance, and overall fitness, but has also developed bodybuilder-like legs. The mix of high rep squats, heavy lifting, and sprinting has sculpted visible muscle definition and power in his lower body, making his legs as strong as they are conditioned for long distance running. Now let's talk about the nutrition required to sustain and repair the intense work that comes with Michael's training routine. For the type of training Michael engages in, combining high rep air squats, heavy barbell squats, hill sprints, and running, proper nutrition is absolutely essential. First, protein plays a key role in muscle repair and growth. Michael consumes upwards of 250 grams of protein on the day of his workout and the day after, focusing on nutrient-dense sources like grass-fed steak, ground beef, chicken, and fish. This high protein intake is critical to repairing the muscle damage caused by intense training sessions, like his 700 air squats. In addition to animal proteins, Michael consumes around one quarter cup of pea protein isolate daily, which is his preferred plant-based protein. Carbohydrates are another vital component of his routine, providing the energy needed to power through these demanding sessions. Michael makes his own power granola, which is focused on oats, honey, and maple syrup. This homemade granola is his go-to carb source before intense workouts, and he typically consumes up to one cup of it the day before a big session. He also includes plenty of fruit in his diet, which is a consistent and reliable source of carbs. While whole grains can be helpful, Michael has a sensitivity to gluten and treads lightly with wheat. For a pre-workout boost, he often has a banana with a tablespoon of honey, giving him the quick energy needed to fuel his performance. Additionally, chicken bone broth is a regular part of Michael's diet, and he consumes up to four cups a day. Bone broth is rich in collagen, which supports joint health, aiding in recovery and reducing inflammation from the repetitive strain of running and strength training. It's also a good source of electrolytes and minerals, helping maintain hydration and muscle function. Hydration remains crucial for his performance, especially with the intensity of his workouts. Alongside water, Michael ensures he replenishes lost electrolytes, particularly after sessions like hill sprints or long distance runs, to support optimal muscle function. By incorporating these carefully selected foods into his diet, Michael is able to sustain his energy levels for high intensity workouts, maximize muscle repair, and ensure his body recovers properly. His nutrition plan, combined with his commitment to training, gives him the foundation he needs to keep pushing his limits. Mental Aspect of Endurance Finally, let's talk about the mental aspect of enduring a 700 rep air squat set. Completing such a demanding workout is not just a physical challenge, it's a mental battle, much like the experience of running a marathon. Pushing through fatigue, discomfort, and the sheer volume of reps requires mental toughness. The same mental grit that gets you through the later miles of a marathon, when your legs are heavy and the finish line feels far away, is what carries you through the final sets of the squat routine. In both scenarios, it's about staying focused, managing the pain, and trusting in your training. You learn to push past the point where your body wants to quit. Each squat, just like each step in a marathon, brings you closer to the finish. The mental resilience developed through this high rep training has a direct crossover to long distance running, 
making you stronger both mentally and physically. It's this mindset that allows Michael to keep improving his endurance, speed, and strength.